welcome back to my channel guys today we are making malva pudding if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me so let's get started to begin with I am starting off with my flour and to that I'm just going to add some bicarbonate of soda so the exact measurements that I'm using for this recipe are available in the description box below so I've added my bicarbonate of soda and then I've also added my custard sugar I'm just going to give that a quick mix just to allow those ingredients to combine then we're going to move over to our wet ingredients we're starting off with two um, extra large eggs that we're going to beat and then to that we're going to add our apple cider vinegar and then after the apple cider vinegar we're going to add some vanilla essence and then we're going to whisk that and then to that we're going to add our milk you can use whichever milk you prefer and then we're going to add our melted butter and we're going to whisk that just to make sure it's fully combined then we're going to add it to our bowl and then to this we're going to add some apricot jam you have to add apricot jam if you don't add apricot jam then it's not marble pudding so we're just going to mix that until it is fully mixed but what you need to note is even if your apricot jam doesn't fully um what's this mix away it's not a train smash you can leave it just like me i've got a few lumps of apricot jam that is totally fine your marble pudding will come out tasting just as good then I've added it to a baking tray so we need to preheat our oven at 180 degrees before and we're going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes or until your tops, the top of your marble pudding starts to brown. While that is baking we can start off by making our sauce so I've started off with adding some butter and then I've added milk then I'm going to add some sugar. And then I'm adding the vanilla essence again and then we're just going to whisk that and then we're also going to add some hot water so your water has to be boiling water and you can do this over medium high heat you just want to get the butter to melt and then once the butter has melted we can set it aside and then we wait for our marble pudding to pop right out of the oven i am using the icook range um, mixing bowls if you're interested in knowing where i get those i will link it in the description box below so this is what the this is what it looks like when it has baked so now I'm just poking some holes just so that I can make sure that that sauce can fully absorb then you're going to add your sauce while it's still hot now the trick here is if you haven't made marble pudding before don't add all of it at once I know the type of um, moisture that I want in my marble pudding so I know when to stop adding the sauce but of course if you if you add too little sauce you can always just go back and add it in after it's not a train smash so now you need to serve your marble pudding while it's still nice and warm because it is a dessert for winter so I'm just going to cut out the slice over there and you guys can see um, my marble pudding is not too moist I don't like it with too much of the sauce but if you do love a lot of the sauce in it you can definitely add it it is of this consistency and it's still nice and warm so before that cools off I'm just going to serve mine with some warm custard you can have it with cold custard you can also have it with ice cream marble pudding is just so amazing I hope you guys try this recipe out and it turns out just as delicious as mine thank you guys so much for watching this video up to this point like I said if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys comment like and definitely also subscribe if you're new and I'll definitely I will definitely see you guys next time thank you bye